What's up guys and welcome to Tan Tennis Channel. I'm so excited to do a review on this racket, the Yonex ESO 98, now Miyosaka limited edition of 2022. Okay, so I just bought this racket and I think it is one of the best looking racket. It has a matte paint job with black base and a golden dragon paint on it. Well, wanted to get a Japanese style dragon tattoo on my shoulder, right down to the arms and to the wrist, but planned to get it after building some muscle so it would look cooler. Well, that didn't happen and probably not gonna happen based on the numbers of days that I went to the gym. Anyway, now I got a racket with a dragon instead. That will do. Well, I'm not gonna talk much about the spec because it's exactly the same with the normal version, just that the paint job is 10 times cooler. Um, the frame is a basic 98 square inches head size with the static weight of 305 gram. So if you guys haven't watched my review on the Yonex E-Zone 2022, please uh, follow the link on the top right corner and check it out. Well, for those who are too lazy to go, let me sum up the key points from the last playtest. The ESO 98 is a control frame with a very good access to power and spin. It definitely provides more uh, power and spin than the Blade 98 that I normally use. Um, the racket feels firm and responsive with a little weird muted feel. It's a pretty well balanced racket and it suits my game style. But something that I don't like from the last playtest uh, that the racket lacks forgiveness and pops, especially on the off-center shots, like high balls and when running and hitting. But I noticed that it's probably because of the demo racket was strung with the strings that I don't like. Um, the hybrid of Solingo Confidential and Torbite. Well, I hate them both uh, due to its stiffness. And it's definitely strung at high tension of more than 50 pounds, probably between 52 to 54 pounds. So on this racket, I decided to strung it with a uh, Solingo Tourbite Soft uh, with 17 gauge and I reduced the tension to 45 pounds or by 10% less than my usual setup. Was hoping for more pops on the ground strokes. And guess what? It works! I can feel that the racket is a lot more playable. I feel like the sweet spot is larger and the frame is a lot more ball pocketed. Um, I think I can generate more power and spin without that much effort. And at the same time, I don't think I sacrifice a significant amount of control by doing this. Well, I know a lot of players, um, including me, who are afraid to reduce the string tension. Well, from now on, uh, 45 pounds is my favorite. Uh, probably might go to low 40s and compare it with uh, 50 pounds. If you guys interested in the comparison video between the low and the high tension, uh, let me know and I will do it next. Okay, on the four hands, I think the frame is pretty stable and it doesn't require full swing like Wilson control frame. Um, short or medium swing will also work well on this racket. It's versatile to players with different ground strokes. And on the back hands, um, yeah, definitely feels good. It's easy to hit quality shots on the back hand and I can hit with flat or with some top spin. Um, I can also do a pretty good backhand slices on this racket with confidence that it will land deep in the court not fly it out, nor go into the net. This allows me to buy some time from the opponent when I got attacked on the backhand side and change the pace of the rallies. On the volleys, yeah, um, the racket feels stable. It's easy to just block the incoming balls um, and the headlight balance of the frame makes it maneuverable and I can react to the incoming balls very effectively. Um, even with the powerful incoming shots, I don't feel like the racket trampoline the balls out. Um, so this gives you some edge when playing with hard-hitting players or aggressive baseliner. The touch of the racket is also good. It gives confidence when volleys, 
and when pulling some drop shots. On the serves, um, the first serves are okay, nothing special. Power is good, control is good, but I like the second serve uh, a little bit more in particular because I can add extra spin and slice on the ball and I'm confident that it will land in the box. Um, on this play test, um, I didn't make a single double fault at all, even though I'm so exhausted. When playing points, um, I think my backhand is a lot better in general. Um, I feel more confident even though my hitting partner try to aim for my backhand as usual. Um, another thing is that I realize that I can create a very good short cross angle shot that I didn't expect to do it before. Um, in summary, I think the ESO 98 is a very good racket, especially with the Golden Dragon on it. Um, this could be my everyday racket. Um, it doesn't ask you too much for energy and effort. Um, it can fit both uh, flat hitters and top spin hitters and also different level of plays, probably from intermediate to advanced. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so that you won't miss my next video. And leave the comments on what you think about this racket, my playstyle, or anything at all. Thank you for watching.